Today's technique is creating a background. This background is created out of two things, magazine pages and fingernail polish remover. So another use for acetone. My name is Peg. I call myself Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel and that notification bell, of course, lets you know when I upload additional content. Let's get started on this project. The first thing you'll want to do is choose your magazine and carefully choose your pages based on color. I have chosen these pink and blue pages out of This is an Eating Well magazine, and I am just ripping the page and decoupaging or gluing, not we're not using any Mod Podge or, or anything like that. We're gluing it onto our tag. And we're going to just create a simple, easy little tag here. The reason that you are using a glue stick instead of Mod Podge to put these on is the Mod Podge forms this plastic type coat over the top of the paper and it makes the process much harder. What we're going to do is use the fingernail polish to move the color and to move that color so that the actual image that you have laid down will no longer be distinguishable and you will just have the color kind of gravitating towards the line. So keep in mind when you're tearing your pieces and putting your pieces down, what kind of shapes do you want represented here? How big do you want the pieces? How small do you want the pieces? because this will look very similar to a little jigsaw puzzle once we get finished with it. So let's get all of this glued up and then we will start to work the magic with the fingernail polish remover. So just about every piece is glued down now. Let's let that glue dry just a bit. We'll turn that tag over and cut off or trim up all of the edges. I'm also going to use my little template that I've created out of a card to not round off, but to cut that diagonal cut on the top of that card to create that tag shape. And we'll just punch a little hole there. And now we have our tag shape in place. So let's get some fingernail polish remover. I have an old t-shirt here that I'm using and see how when you apply the fingernail polish to the magazine page. Now I have, I'm utilizing a very light touch. I am not rubbing hard because if you rub hard, you're going to remove the magazine page. So you just want a very, very light touch over the top of this and that will move that color. So now that we have that all where we want it, look, now doesn't that look lovely for for a couple of magazine swatches and a little fingernail polish remover. I think it makes a very, very interesting background. So now I'm, we might as well finish this tag off while we're here. So I'm going to go around the outside edge with faded blue denim. And remember, I've received the blue and pink just from the magazine pages. And there's a little piece there that's, that's was coming up so I'm just going to glue that back into place and we'll go around that outside edge so that we don't have you know I, I cut this tag out of watercolor paper and I don't want that white to show and now I've decided I have this uh, remnant of a napkin that I'd used in another project I thought this would probably be a good place to use that so I am pulling some pieces off of that and now I'm going to decoupage and I am going to go over the entire tag with the Mod Podge because I think that just protects the background that we laid down. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. I thought we, you know, we put some in that lower corner, so we might as well opposite side at the top. Put some more. That's my cat wanting in. If you can hear that door, he jumps up and grabs on the door handle of the storm door and hangs on it and that's what's making that door he's just going to have to wait a minute so this is a chat that came from the tim holtz collection and this one i liked i believe it says 
I, you know, I, I can't see it real close right now, but I believe it says, um, I don't think uh, something about that's a lot to, when she said that's a lot to spend on crafting supplies, I knew we couldn't be friends. So I thought that was pretty cute. So we'll lay that down there. I'm going to let the cat in while we're trimming that up. And I'm taking the tattered rose and putting that over the back. Uh, I also took that tattered rose and put it over that chat. I didn't like the stark whiteness of that, those chat words. And I'm just stenciling on the back. Stencil. So. And I'm back to that stark white on those chat words. I am going to go ahead and just add some of this little floral down the edge of this card, up in the corner a little bit more. And I just want to get that not so in your face. So we're going to kind of hide it behind a few little pieces of that cascading flower. Cat is really creating havoc with me. His name is Vincent. So when you heard me tell Vincent to stop, that is my cat. And now to finish it off, we'll just add some liquid pearls. And I've chosen this pink liquid pearls. I keep that little container of pens with the... Um, round top. They're great for getting glue unclogged, the liquid pearls unclogged. I use them with my glitter glue. I always lose the pen that comes with the glitter glue and I just keep those. They're not stainless steel so they do rust a little bit when when they're stuck down in the glue but I find I just dab out a little bit and they're fine. So this is the finished piece. I added some pink ribbon on it. I think this creates a very interesting background. I hope you think so as well. And I am very pleased that you stopped by to join me for this Technique Tuesday. And we are going to continue to post techniques. We'll continue to post Simple Saturdays. But we are going to kind of move them into more of a technique file, a simple file, a um, supply file, and not really tie them to a day anymore. So I think that uh, kind of inhibits the creative flow when you have this deadline on a technique and a deadline on a supply. So I hope you will continue to come to my channel and continue to enjoy the things that I put out there and you will know what playlist to find techniques, supplies, and simple ideas in. So once again, thank you. Love your comments. Appreciate the thumbs up and your feedback is always wonderful. Bye for now.